Bhagavad Gita, Text 2.26 O mighty armed one, even if you think that the self is continually born and continually dies, you still have no reason to lament for it. Having spoken strongly about the ultimacy of consciousness in accordance with the sacred literature, here Krishna changes direction, atha ja, accepting for argument's sake the notion that consciousness itself is ephemeral. Krishna cites atheistic and Buddhist philosophy in which consciousness is considered non-eternal. Buddhists do not believe in the existence of a self. They believe that consciousness is a product of conditions and thus changes from moment to moment. Materialists such as Charvakamuni consider the self to be the body, which, though enduring for some time, is born, dies and changes at every moment. In a cynical tone, Krishna reasons that even if the noble and mighty Arjuna is so foolish as to succumb to such understandings, still he should fight.